In this workflow video for boundary surveys, we want to take a look at setting up our control or running our control out here on this survey. This one happened to be done with a, a total station, but there's no reason I couldn't do the same thing with GPS if there was an open canopy. On this particular lot, there wasn't, so there wasn't that opportunity. But uh, in previous videos, we talked about putting in our uh, deeds and doing our research. We went out and uh, found uh, four of the monuments that were out there, and we created projected positions for other lot corners, uh, some that called for monuments and some that didn't. And basically, we're going to go out and do our control now and uh, identify uh, what's out there. Now, in this particular survey, and I'm going to turn on both of these control loops here, uh, we were interested in not only doing a boundary survey, but a site survey and ultimately a topographic survey here. So. We picked up a number of topo shots, uh, site shots. It's not all just uh, control work here for pin searches, but I want to just kind of zoom in here and show you um, what we ended up uh, tying here. So here's my control traverse. I've got a lot of uh, points in here, uh, a lot of side shots. So from a particular control point, I'm going to set up a backside and then tie pretty much everything I can see before I move on. Uh, sometimes I'll double these angles. Sometimes I'll just tie back in and check my uh, closure on that. Uh, you may want to do appropriate control for your uh, GPS monumentation and post-processing. Um, and uh, whatever you do to make sure you've got good, good uh, solid uh, survey work in here. Um, and the great thing then is that um, I can come in and say, OK, let's zoom in here. I was pretty comfortable uh, holding this CP1 up here. And from that uh, CP1, I created some additional control points to give me access. Let's take a look at one of these here. So I needed to get down and search for this monument at the 27. And it turns out all I found uh, there was uh, nothing. <laughs> I stuck a 60D uh, nail in there. and. Uh, got myself within a few feet of where I might look for a monument and didn't, didn't find anything there. Um, I'm looking for lines of occupation or, or anything that uh, might help me identify uh, boundaries out here. And I did that out of this, this control loop then. So it's kind of nice. I came in and I said, I want to draw all this uh, control stuff in purple. And I want to do all the side shots and kind of this teal. And, and really, this is kind of my opportunity to come back and uh, say, yeah, that's the field work that I did. This looks like what I shot out there. Gives me a real nice picture. Uh, whether I'm, I'm using GPS or conventional total stations, doesn't really matter. I still get to see where the control points are and uh, where my uh, uh, ties are for side shots and such. Yeah, if I'm doing GPS, I may not have these lines in between it. So let's just go in and take those lines off and say no lines. But let's change this so it's a little bit different symbol for us. Let's use a triangle, make it a little bit bigger, and the, the purple's just fine for us there. I'm going to turn descriptions on for these control points and apply that. So this is uh, every bit as good a look, and I can see that most of my control points here are a hub and nail that I stuck in, and I'm, I'm basically just setting up control wherever I, I can uh, get good uh, sight for the survey here. And, and then, of course, um, I'll turn all this uh, side shot data into my site work and my topographic work. But I, I got in here enough then to uh, determine that there were no additional monuments um, on any of these adjacent properties down here to the south. And uh, I'm really going to have to hang my hat on what I found up here to the north. And um, we're going to end up projecting this position into the uh, north corner of this uh, tax lot 1300 here and that's really the best I best I can do out here I don't have anything else to uh, tell me I need to do anything differently and uh, it's nice I just have these two control traverses about 170 points or so uh, of those probably about a, uh, less than a dozen here are actually uh, control points and that's enough for me to figure out what's going on out there